Good evening. This is Erin Gallardo again. Happy Halloween. I'm in my costume right now. It might look like a fried egg or a Ninja Turtle, but I am an avocado, avocardio. So um, had a really fun day at work dressing up in costume. Always a good time. Um, it's good to see you all. Hope you guys all had a fun time um, dressing up today if you do that. Uh, we love doing that. I'm going to uh, be bringing my colleague Claire McLean on the call today. We got to practice a little bit so she'll be able to join. So I'm going to add her to here so that we all can meet her and talk with her a little bit as well because she and I created the Neuro Tribe together and um, she has some things that she wants to let everyone know about as well if you're considering joining or you have any questions about um, what's going on with the Neuro Tribe. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her on screen. It's adding. Um, <laughs> hey Claire! Hey. All right, hey. we're both on here. Hopefully the sound is okay. I can hear myself echoing. Oh yeah. We have to do... And you sound kind of quiet. Okay, I'll do headphones so it doesn't echo. Oh, that might help. Of course, these are not the ones. <laughs> Continue talking, I'll be right back. Good back. So, I, I don't, I don't want to wait until you plug in because of the echo. Okay. Okay, is that better? Yeah. Okay. No. No? <laughs> I still hear an echo. Maybe I should have headphones too. <laughs> I've got and some. Now I can't set my phone down. I wonder if I can turn it upside down. No. <laughs> no, you're upside down now. Yeah, so now I have to hold my phone. Okay. Okay, okay is, okay, is that, that better? better? Mm -hmm. I can hear the sound. I hear an yeah, echo of myself, myself still. still. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe okay, this isn't easy. easy. <laughs> All right, if it's too distracting. Let's, yeah, too much. Carrie, can, can, can you hear, hear the, the echo? echo? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. How about try talking a little bit more and if it's. No, I, no hear I hear it every, it every time, time I, talk. I talk. Okay. All right. Do you hear, hear it? it? Mm -mm. No. Okay. I don't know if Carrie can hear it. Yeah, if it's too distracting, do you want to just keep going? And I'll Why don't you talk? talk? I'll be on tomorrow. Okay, because when I'm talking, it's okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't hear it. All right. So, my name is Claire. Um, I think I probably know a lot of you guys in this group. Maybe we've met at different conferences, at CSM, or at Power Courses. Um, Carrie can hear us, so that's good. Um, so, I think I've met a lot of people, and then I know there's a lot of people in the group now, though, who I haven't met before, in person especially. So, my name is Claire. I'm a physical therapist. Erin and I have known each other for a long time, and have been on kind of similar paths career-wise. Um, doing different things, figuring out what we love, and ultimately kind of taking a leap of faith and doing something that can be a little bit scary and is different and a little bit non-traditional. And then we're really wanting to continue in that way with our careers um, for kind of what we do clinically. So I have a wellness program that is specialized for people who have Parkinson's. I run group classes and do individual assessments and work with some people one-on-one. -on -one. And then I really love other aspects of wellness. So a lot of education and incorporating things like diet and lifestyle and sleep and optimizing meds and all of that is really fascinating to me and so I really enjoy working with this population um, but I am doing it all on a non-insurance um, base so that is a little bit different than what people are used to and so figuring out you know how just to let people know about it and get people going and help uh, people understand why they might want to invest in their health and that physical therapy through insurance is extremely important and pretty much everyone I see does 
physical therapy at some point in time during the year. My classes are really a way to keep people healthy during the rest of the year when they're not in individual physical therapy and do it in a way that works for their schedule and also is as cost effective as possible for them, but then also allows me to actually support myself doing it and get to do something that I love. So I'm really fortunate to do that. And I would say uh, our motivation for starting uh, Neuro Collaborative in the first place and especially Neuro Tribe was to share our experiences and help encourage and coach others to really figure out what they love to do and who they love to work with and then make sure that that's what their career is so that they don't feel frustrated and um, stuck and unhappy in their career because working with people with neurologic conditions is extremely rewarding and it's wonderful but it also is challenging um, and there's lots of barriers in the world to people getting the best care and so it can feel like this just constant work to try to make the world a better place and help people get the services that they need and help deal uh -huh. with the lack of resources and so we feel like helping encouraging more people to follow this path will help increase um, the services for people with neurologic condition and in conditions and increase their options and also allow more people to be really happy with their careers. And we also know that there are already people, a lot of people doing this too. And so that's part of it is NeuroTribe we see as a way to bring all of us together, those who are already doing it and are growing their businesses and have learned a lot but have a lot to share and are looking for kind of the next step and the next level. Um, one person who just joined today, I'm super excited, is Natasha, who's up in Canada, who I met through Power, Parkinson Wellness Recovery, and she has a clinic up there, seeing people in person, and then also doing really amazing things with telemedicine, and tele-rehab, and other online programs, and we have, of course, Sarah with Invigorate. Um, we know a lot of people doing really cool things that we think you know they can continue to learn and grow through a group like this and also share with people who are just getting started out so i think that's you know one of the questions uh, that we've had is you know depending on where i am in my career is this right for me and i think it's not really about where you are in your career it's more about where you're looking to go and if you think that having a group of other like-minded professionals to help encourage and support and problem solve with you, if that would be helpful, then I would say NeuroTribe is great for you. Um, we have had both someone who already owns a business asking that question, um, people who are very early in their career wondering if they're ready for this yet. Um, we also had a professor email us and ask and at first, my thought was, you know, as a professor, I wasn't sure, you know, what exactly she would gain from this. But she mentioned that actually she's looking at possibly evolving her career and she wants to do different types of education than what is kind of currently out there for CEUs. And to me, if you're looking to innovate and do things differently, this group is a great place to be able to be creative and also, though, have a uh, group of people who can give you feedback and ideas, you know, would this work? Would you attend this? Like, what are your thoughts? Uh -huh. and, um, so that accountability or kind of group meeting that we plan on having once a, once a month as one of the things that we do, I think will be amazing for being able to discuss all of those ideas and really move in the direction you want to. Um, I'm trying to think if there was, oh yeah, and then one other person today emailed who is a physical therapy assistant and also works as a personal trainer to kind of be more independent and working more in the health and wellness arena. And, you know, is it right for her? Is this just for physical therapists? And although we are physical therapists and that's kind of our background and experience, I really don't think that this group is limited to physical therapists. I think any healthcare professional who's really passionate about working with people who have neurologic conditions and is passionate about changing healthcare and innovating and developing new programs and new options for people, I think it could be a really great group for anyone um, in that arena. So those are some of the questions uh -huh. that we've gotten. Um, and one of the things we wanted, Erin, do you have anything you want to add? No, that's, no, that's perfect. perfect. Okay. Um, one of the other things that we wanted to talk about today is, you know, positive experiences with something like this. And for me, I can say I worked at, I've always had a little bit of a non-traditional career. I've never had a regular full-time job. Um, I've always done a couple different things, like work on a research project and teach and work in a clinic and kind of just always put those things together um, to kind of fill up my schedule. So I've gotten a lot of cool experience from that, which has been wonderful. And that's one thing that I think is important for people to know as an option too. You don't just have to go get one regular full-time job. If you like and are interested in different things, you know, seeing what's in your area. Um, but over
over time, I really, after working in an outpatient hospital setting, which was a great place to work, um, I just really felt the desire to be able to provide more for my clients, more ongoing access, so that, you know, if you've done physical therapy and then they're going and trying to exercise on their own, but something comes up or there's a question, it can be hard for people to get back in touch with their physical therapist or ask a question or kind of if they need a little bit of a reset or encouragement, that can sometimes be hard to obtain. So I really wanted to set up something where people had more continuous access, both to exercise, but also for to be able to ask their questions and you know, know like, is this something that I can kind of work through with exercise? Is this something I need to go talk to my doctor about? And just encourage them to really be proactive and access the best healthcare. So I feel like we're able to do that through this ongoing um, kind of wellness program. So that is what I really felt the desire to do. But I honestly thought about it for I was um, I had ideas about what I wanted to do, and I would talk to my friends about it. But, and my friends would say, do it. And I was still unsure. And it took me honestly more than a year of talking about it. And finally, it was actually a life coach as part of a retreat that I went to who was like, this idea makes sense. Um, you're already working in this area. You know, you have people who ready and want to work with you more. You know this. So like, you have to just do it. You cannot keep waiting and talking about it, or it could be another decade or years of your life. And so I decided to move back in with my mom because that's what I needed to do financially. And I did it and I started my business and it grew so fast that, you know, I was really able to support myself very quickly. And I think there is just such a need out there, but it's very scary to do things that are different. And especially physical therapists and kind of our group of people, I think are pretty smart, practical people who maybe, you know, both like education wise and career wise, maybe didn't take huge risks. We went to school, we got educated, we got jobs um, and taking a risk is a really big deal. So it was a life coach who told me that. And then I have to say also, it was having Aaron and Julie owning Reactive. And then one of my really good friends and mentors, Becky Farley, who uh, founded Power Parkinson Wellness Recovery in Arizona, seeing people be, do, you know, be successful while doing these non-traditional things is what made me feel comfortable to try. And so then I tried and it has been successful and it's been a lot of fun. And um, I love talking to other people. So many people I have had phone conversations or email conversations who say, you know, I love what you're doing. I see your videos and it's cool, but I don't really know how to get started or how even to think about what I might charge or where am I going to do this? There's so many little things that you do have to figure out along the way that each of those things can kind of stop you. Um, so if you have people who are encouraging you and helping you figure out those little things and some big things, I think that can be really powerful. So that's really what NeuroTribe in this group is for is to have this group of people who are all excited to do things differently and are going to help you along that path as well. Um, we did last year, I think it was in the summer, actually, I'd have to look at the month, but we did something called a brain share with NeuroCollaborative. And we did a one day meeting in person where a few people, um, who were looking to kind of make moves in their career came in and we all sat down and shared and discussed and did something called a hot seat, which you as an individual goes up front and kind of explains where you're coming from and where you want to go. And then the rest of us ask questions and, um, kind of coach and help you figure things out. And we did that last year. And um, on our landing page, if you've looked at it and read, we have Michelle and Emily stories. And Emily, both of them are good friends of ours who we've known for a number of years. Emily works at the Power Gym in Tucson and was feeling like she just wanted to be able to do more and had other things that she was excited about doing at Power. And we talked through all those things. And now a year later, she's in a much different place and has gotten to take on more responsibility and more of the things that she's really excited to do along with treating clients, but help really develop programs and be involved in research and all this cool stuff. So that's what we feel like is really possible with NeuroTribe is being able to come in and kind of say, okay, this is where I feel stuck and this is what I know I'm meant to do and what I want to do, but sometimes it's hard to get there. <sighs> so. Yeah. And Emily joined our Neuro Tribe, so we're excited to get to work with her for another year of progress in what she's doing, what she wants to do. And it doesn't have to just be for people who want to start their own thing. Um, Michelle's story too, she had always been someone who knew what was the next step and she's just, she loves learning. She 
is very organized. She wants to do as much as possible for everyone and to help everyone. And she kind of felt a little bit limited too, feeling like maybe she didn't know what the next step was for her. And she, it wasn't ma mapped out or laid out. And um, she also just thought the only thing that she would be able to do was start her own thing. And she wasn't really sure if she wanted to do that or if it was the right step or when to do it. Um, so when she was able to come to the brain share and work with us and, and we could work through some of her questions and issues and really her working through it with, with guidance from all of us, um, which is why it's a collaborative effort and why that's so helpful. She was able to come up with some key things that she could bring to her organization as like, okay, this would be more fulfilling for me. And this would help me achieve this goal that I want in my career. And bring some of those elements that she needed. Um, she had just bought a house. Like there were other things that make it hard to take a really big risk, like starting your own thing. Um, so, so that's also an option of just being able to create what you need and get some clarity around you because we have plenty of opportunities for continuing education out there, but there's not a lot of opportunities for like our professional development and growth. And I know I love being creative with, um, you know, watching videos, going to courses that aren't for neuro and like trying to translate them into neuro. It's different. Our world is very different than an orthopedic PT world. And there's not a lot of support and perspective out there for the neurotherapist. So we're excited to be able to have this for neurotherapists. So we don't have to take that PT box and then sort of turn it on its side and make it fit in a neuro perspective. So that's another piece. Mm hmm. Yeah. So true. <sighs> it's yeah, exciting. We have a ton of great members already. We're super excited about who's in there. And we really want um, more of you to come and join our party. Um, if you haven't watched any of the videos uh, this week, make sure to go check them out because we answer a lot of other questions and go over other Q&As. Um, but definitely feel free to post any comments or questions you have in this video or email us at info at neurocollaborative.com. Um, let us know your thoughts and questions because we're only open for one more day. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So you have to decide by tomorrow. We don't have a ton of spots. We are, we only have limited options and, um, and we're closing tomorrow night, 1159 PM. And um, on that note, I just want to share that we, um, we, our monthly plan is not up and running yet. We're having some issues with um, the, the system that does the approval for pay. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's an Apple thing, I guess is what they said, even though I don't know, but so it's not up and running and our annual option is open, but if you want to do the monthly, you can definitely sign up for it by just emailing us and letting us know, and we'll be able to send you an invoice, um, pretty soon when we figure out what to do with that. So the monthly option is available. The annual option is available on, on our site. Um, I'll post the link to that so that you can, you can join. Um, yeah. And it is a founding membership. So like we've said, this is the first round. Um, we have a great structure and idea. We have a great group. I think we have a lot of great leaders in there. Um, so we're going to move forward down our path, but there's going to be some bumps in the road. Um, we're going to try some new platforms that we haven't tried before. So um, that's why we're being able to offer this at like such a great price point where um, you're still really invested in yourself and what you can expect to get out of this, but it's not something that's going to break the bank. I um, mean, it's our lowest price that we're ever going to offer. So you want to jump in now if, um, if you think that this is right for you. Yeah. And just to mention, so it is open until tomorrow night. And kind of the reason that you do that is so that you have a time where people join and then we basically all kind of get started together. We're on the same page. We're moving forward. If it was something where people kind of were just joining at any time, it would be a little bit harder to kind of keep track of people and get them, you know, involved in the groups and everybody on the same page. So that's the reason for kind of having this week of being open and getting members in and then we're really going to get started with the work and we will you know be opening again in the future sometime there will be another opportunity to join if this is not the right time for you but like Aaron said you know this is kind of the time period where we're going to be figuring a lot of things out and that's why there is kind of this founding member option that we want people who are going to be in there and help us figure these things out and really give us feedback about how to make it the best it can be and then you know next time around we'll be increasing the price and we'll have 
have a lot more things figured out, which also means it will just continue to get better and better over time. We have a lot of exciting future plans. And I think, you know, just talking about so many people doing very cool things across the country, I'm excited to do interviews and, you know, spotlights of people of how did they get started with their business and what are they doing now. And I think, you know, listening to stories like that also really gets the creative juices flowing about, you know, hearing something like, oh, that sounds like what I'd like to do. And this is how they made it happen. So I feel like there's so much that we can learn from each other by kind of highlighting successes that people have had. Um, so there's lots of cool things that we're planning on adding in the future. And we'll just be kind of um, progressing over the next year with a lot of cool new stuff. But join us now to be involved with all of that. We're really excited to get started. And those who are already in, make sure you send it to your friends and get them to join too and get started with it all right now. It'll be really fun. So um, leave some comments, questions, email us at info at neurocollaborative.com. Um, let us know what you think. And um, we'll post this in our Facebook page and everything so you can keep making comments. Um, but we'll do one more live. Claire's going to be on for the last live tomorrow. That'll be our final open day. So <clears throat> look out for her to jump on for any last minute questions and join ons. All right. So yeah, I will see you guys right. tomorrow and I'll see you Friday, Erin. Right. Have a great night. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye.